The first technique we'll look at starts by pushing out and widening the stance. I will be using my normal fighting stance, feet somewhat spaced apart, knees slightly bent. For now, we will be using only two strikes, the diagonal forehand and the horizontal backhand. To keep things simple, we won't allow much rotation in the upper body, so keep the torso stable. We increase the distance between our feet. This is our first count. On the second count, we pull ourselves back into our stance. Either by bringing the same foot back, or by setting both feet one after the other in the same direction. On both of these counts, widening and re-establishing our stance, we will add a strike. I will start by delivering a backhand on the second count. Widening, wind up, shortening, backhand. And now we strike on both counts, widening with a forehand and shortening with a backhand. Of course we can put the left leg in front, switch the stick to our left hand, put the right foot back in front. And those four variations can be done starting with the back hand. Now you have eight variations and each will feel a little different. So get familiar with all of them. Everything we did going forwards and backwards also applies when moving side to side. We can set one foot out and right back, or we can set both successively in the same direction. Then we start to practice striking on the second count. Then on both. And then we do all the variations. I will finish by suggesting a footwork pattern. We will walk along two squares, each side of which is two steps long. One we will trace clockwise, the other counterclockwise. You already practiced forward and backward and left to right. Now you practice forward to left, to backward to right, to backward to left, to forward to right. Which of course you can do in all combinations used earlier. Next, we'll add the other basic step we'll be using. 